Hello everybody, welcome back to your Monash Exercise at Home series. My name is Andrew and we're about to do a body balance inspired freestyle class for you to do in the comfort of your own home while the coronavirus situation is still not quite fully resolved. So, look after yourself for this exercise sequence, be kind to your joints, be kind to your body, take drinks as you need to. You, would, you can have a mat or you can just have some flooring, anything that you feel comfortable to stand or move around on. It's ideally great to work without shoes on for this kind of workout so you can get the foot muscles fully activated. And we're gonna basically do a sequence of exercises largely from many of the recent body balance releases. So we're gonna start with our toes together, our knees together. Reach your arms up into an intense pose. And then as you breathe out, drop your butt back a little bit. Then lift your thumbs high and get your chest into high beam. And then consciously relax and drop your shoulders as you drop into your hips. Now, as you breathe in, bring your hands together in front of your chest. Lift your right foot on your right heel off the floor. Turn to your right side and then press your arms forward and back like you're pushing the wall in front and behind away, and then come up tall and sink a little bit. Lifting the left heel, hands to heart, turn the torso, pressing front to back, and then rise up tall and sink. So inhale as you bring your hands in, exhale as you push front to back, Breathe in as you rise and exhale as you fall. Letting your breath in and out. Be your own metronome for movement. Slowing you down. And also increasing the quality of the feeling of each move as you gently mobilize through this sequence. In, exhale. Pulling back through the fingers as you push out through the palms and then pause for a moment. Now, bring your hands to your chest, pick up your right foot and turn away 45 degrees behind. Take your arms overhead and then spread your angel wings down slowly together. Then come into the middle, lifting your left foot, turning away, spreading your wings reaching towards your front toe. So inhale on the rise and exhale in flight. In, stretching out all the way to your fingers of your front and back hand, seeing how much wingspan you can create, albatrossing across the lounge room. One more, in, and hold. Okay, now we'll do a few sun salutations. Got the legs a little bit warm. So bring your, actually I'll turn around here so I can sort of see you and you can see me at an angle that suits. Toes together, heels together, knees together, standing up proud and tall. As we breathe in, we're going to do our sun salutations. Touching the fingers overhead, you can watch them touch. Exhale, bend the knees a little bit, and then forward fold, belly onto thighs. Then step back with one foot, step back with the other foot into a plank. And now from here, push your butt back and high, and push your nose towards your toes. And then come forward again, and now drop down to your knees, just to take some of the pressure off the arms in the first round and then lower your elbows down next to your ribs, lifting through the belly button, gratefully land on the floor in your hips, and then as you breathe in, roll your shoulders back behind you, clicking them together, and then breathe out and push off the floor, heels back behind you, tailbone high in front, then look forward and step forward with your right leg first, and then come through with your left leg, Footprint next to footprint, big toe next to big toe, hold in your forward fold for a moment, and then rise up high. And that was one. Breathe out, forward fold for round two. This time we'll put our hands on our shins and we'll do a flat back extend, rolling the shoulders back, sitting long and flat. Then breathe out and forward fold again and step back. 
elbows turned inwards slightly and now push back behind. Really feel a long stretch, not just through your arms, but past your shoulders, through your back, right to the tip of your tailbone. Then fly forward, lifting on your belly button. You can land on your knees or you can stay on your toes and then melt down, elbows narrow, body level, touch the hips to the floor. You can either just pull back through the shoulders for a baby cobra or you can push up a little bit more and find an upward facing dog. Then push back behind, stretching beautifully through the back of the legs. Then look forward between the hands, step through with your left foot, drop your hip down and then come in together, toe next to toe. Rising up tall, we'll do two more. Exhale, right it down, belly button right onto thighs, hands on shins, lifting heart and pulling and rolling shoulders back. Then breathe out, forward fold again, step it back in stereo. You can even jump if you want to be enthusiastic and push back behind. Oh, feeling it right through the top of the body from the back of the neck down the arms and all the way to your tailbone. Then launch forward, flying beautiful and majestic. Knees can hit the floor if you want, or you can stay up on your toes. And then savour, breathe out as you sink down towards the floor, resting hips, and then breathe in to shine your chest right out in front of you. Breathe out, tuck and go behind. Then look forward, leap forward, drop your down as you lift eyes to horizontal and then step in with the rear foot and get into your forward fold for a breath out before you breathe in and stretch up tall. Final round, down we pour. Hands on shins, surge up strength through the arms. Breathe out, forward. Fold again and then jumping back if you want or stepping back as elegantly as a jump. Pushing behind, getting a little bit warmer and smoother each sequence through. And now fly forward again, knees or toes knowing it's a last round through and levitate, levitate, levitate. Challenge yourself and hold for a moment. Then keep going and hips to the floor. Inhale, shoulders back eyes and chest shine brightly. Tuck and push. Look before you leap and then put your left foot right there between your hands. Bring your right foot in next door. Forward fold and then rise. And bring your hands down by your sides. Now we're warm, let's get strong. So I'm gonna turn full side on for this one here. We'll start out in a lunge. So, get the rear foot up, bend through the front leg, and then bring your arms up right next to your ears, and let your fingertips gently melt up to the sky as your rear knee sinks towards the floor. Then bring your arms wide and spread your chest out and up, noticing how wide and open the ceiling is, pulling back through the thumbs. Called wonderful pose, this one, so if it feels wonderful, all the better. Then come out of there, turn side on, kick out the heel, bend the thigh, sink low into a warrior two, and let your arms flutter free and happy. Sink a little bit more. Turn outward through that knee, roll backward through that hip, and levitate body right through the center. Then breathe in, come up into a sun warrior, melting hips down a little bit lower, lifting elbow up high, and then breathe out and come to an extended warrior. Completely laser beam from hand through shoulder, through hip, all the way down the leg through to your heel. 
And if you want to take the scaffolding away, you can to make it more challenging for yourself. And you can reach down aspirationally towards the floor. Then breathe in, come back up to Sun Warrior again. And now for a bit of fun, press the palms apart. Press down below and up on high, stretching like a rubber band between your fingers from floor to ceiling. Then come through and the same kind of feeling, press overhead and then press this palm down towards your heel. Inhale, Sun Warrior. Exhale, press in place. Inhale, come across Extended Warrior. Exhale, sink and press in place. One more before we give your legs a little bit of a break. Press up and down, lowering adventurously into the lead leg, and then come across and feel pneumatic power. Push and drive and hold you in place. And now, straighten up that leg, and then we'll go for a triangle. So, as you reach out over your front foot, let your hip push back the opposite way, and then when you feel as long across the room as possible, let your hand come down wherever it lightly wants to land or rest and revolve through the top of your body. Take away some of the tension here and add some length on the underside by rotating your hips a little bit and feeling as though you are centered straight up your spine through the middle of the top of your head. Relax the shoulders a little bit, draw back through the top arm. The front leg, largely straight, can have a slight bend in it if you wish. Feel free and revolve through your upper body. And now, come back in and center up in warrior two. Breathe in as you breathe out, melt down one inch. Breathe in, wider through the chest. Breathe out, melt down one inch. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale and soar lower. Inhale. Just one more. Inhale. Exhale and hold and challenge yourself. Hold, hold, hold. Ah. Oh free yourself out of there. So, on the side, we'll repeat that sequence. Starting the lunge, lifting heel off the floor, screwing yourself up, dropping down through the body, reaching up through the arms, and opening your chest across the sky, starting with your arms straight overhead, and then going 45 degrees, celebratory, wonderful pose. So as wonderful as it is above the body with the hands and the arms and the chest, make it a bit more wonderful for your legs by sinking slightly down through your rear leg at the same time. So open here, low there, smiles all around. Then break out of there and come to warrior two. This time, left leg has a bend, right leg has a straight, pushing down on the outer blade of the foot so your little toe is touching the floor and squaring your body side on. So you're gonna feel like you are pressed between two panes of glass, you are two dimensional, you are the most beautiful butterfly in someone's butterfly collection. Opening up through the top, sinking down through the hips. And now breathe in, Sun Warrior, feeling your ribs open out to the left side of your body, peeling and rolling back, making sure you're side on rather than jamming through the lower back. So square up, feel the rib rib revolution rather than uh, churning through the lower back area. And then come through, extended warrior. You can choose how you want to scaffold it, how well on thigh, if you want to get to use that to get started. Sinking low, taking that away if you dare, stretching, 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 watching out for the hips, kinking up, more than the body. So if you feel like your head and your foot are low and your hips kink up in between, align your upper body 
with where the leg is in your position. If you can see yourself in a mirror, that's ideal. I can see in my filming camera. There we go. So low, 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 low. And now breathe in, Sun Warrior. Breathe out, rubber bands between hands. And press high and low. Noticing our top hand especially really accentuates the stretch through here. Breathe in, come across to Extended Warrior. And then breathe out, pressing palm overhead and pressing other palm down towards hip. In. And out, high and low. Then in. And out, press and press. We'll do one more. Let the breath get you there. Let the breath flush your body. Keep you strong, staying with the challenge. Every second makes a difference. Breathe out, come through, and press for your extended warrior. Press, 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 press. Knowing this is the one where you get, ah, oh, to straighten the leg, step out of the fire, then reach and build your pyramid. Letting hand drop, top shoulder revolving, trying to relax the top of the shoulder as much as possible, and let the back of the hand draw you away, leveling out the feeling of the upper and lower ribs, the top and bottom ribs, and then feeling the revolution freedom of the upper body and the stability of the legs centered around your hips. Breathe in, and then as you breathe out, soften the shoulders a little bit more. And then finally, come back to your warrior two, sinking adventurously down there. Inhale, shine the chest. Exhale, drop one inch. Inhale, pull back through the little fingers. Exhale, drop another inch. Three more breaths. Inhale. And on every exhale, find another level to drop. In and exhale. And then last time's the charm. This is it, last one. Exhale and hold, hold, hold. Release. Okay, have a bit of a shake on your poor defenseless legs. And now, going to do the balance and stretching at the same time. So what we're gonna do is, if you feel a bit awkward in your balance, have a trusty physical object that you can hold onto, like a wall or a bit of furniture, and then with your right, yeah, with your right foot on the floor, right foot on the floor, reach back for the left foot and hold on the inside. So not, not on the outside, with the hand on the outside of the foot, but bring your hand around on the inside edge and hold around your ankle area with your hand on the big toe side of the rear foot. And then tip forward and pull through the hand and kick through the foot at the same time. So you're sort of going for a dancer's pose. Now I'm not very flexible, so I don't look as much like a dancer as you could probably imagine. Imagine a tutu, imagine little girl's music box, imagine the foot behind touching the back of the head and a beautiful curved circle of the back edge of the body, back of the head, around past the tailbone, along the rear leg, back up through the heel and to the big toe. But wherever you are, if you're holding on, you can feel the thigh. Lift the chest and the arm a little bit in front. And as you breathe out, temper the strength behind you. Kick into the hand and pull through the hand with equal force to keep yourself here. Five, four, three, two, one. And come in for a perfect landing. Other side. So remember the inside edge of the rear foot to hold with the big toe here, not the outside, the inside. The reason being that as you kick through, you keep yourself aligned. If you go for an outside grip, you sort of splay off to the side and produce unnecessary and unwelcome twisting actions through the knee joints sometimes. So the inside hold means that as you push and kick, you don't cause undesirable 
or shearing stress through your joints. So, up, up, up through the hand, up, up, up through the optimism. Remember, if you wobble, all the better. Keeps you young and smart, looks after the joints of your standing leg and helps maintain, improve and perpetuate your balance, which just reduces the risk of injuries and falls and things happening in your future and makes you more agile and elegant in the present. Four, three, two, one. There we are, all done. So, we'll now come down to the floor and we'll do some opening work through the hip area. So starting out, taking a little seat, hook one heel through to your butt and then let the other heel come around to your knee. Sit nice and tall and then take the top leg and rest it here and see if you can open the hip by applying some pressure to that hand and melt it through the hip area. Now, if this is a bit too strong, then by all means, what you can do is straighten off the bottom leg and take some of the pressure off it. Or this top foot can be on the shin or the floor instead of balancing on the opposite knee. But as you sit tall and as you gently apply pressure here, allow your hips to yield to your breath. So go for three breaths, inhale. And as you exhale, just feel a sense of drop through the hand, through the shoulders, but not through the top of the head. Inhale and exhale and just let the time work for you. Let your body trust you. Feel the gentle, gentle. Inhale and exhale, melt through. So other side, take the foot on the knee, Sit up nice and straight, pull the toe back towards the knee, sitting tall, tall, tall. Again, take the options if you need to, foot on shin, foot on floor, bottom leg straight instead of bottom leg bent, if that's what suits you. As long as both of your sit bones are equally on the floor and your spine is straight up out of there, you're in a good place. Inhale. Exhale. Now don't force anything. Make sure that it's a gentle, persuasive pressure, like a little kid in the lolly aisle. Maybe not a good analogy. Maybe like a very polite little kid in the lolly aisle who just is like, Mummy, whenever you're ready, you can buy me one of these. <sighs> not the temper tantrum, because with temper tantrum, your body will kick back like a grumpy parent and you will not get any lifesavers or smarties or any of the stuff that's been placed conveniently at your eye level. Inhale, and then exhale, a little bit each time. Beautiful. Okay, now, sit with your, I should design exercises that I can actually do. Sorry, my knee's got bits of cartilage stuck in it and it sometimes gives me troubles and it's doing so right now. So, ignoring me, you can do it at home. Sit with your knees, your legs, your knees, your legs splayed out in front of you. Get the butt cheeks underneath your sit bones. And then sit as upwards and as forwards as possible. Now, if you're a ballerina, you're probably lying on the floor going, oh, this is so easy, I can relax here. If you're a normal person, like myself and any other normal person, you might even be sitting back here going, oh, everything's so far away. If that's you, Build the foundation first. Bring your hips forwards and your lower back forwards so that whatever happens, you feel like gravity is at your back helping you. You don't feel like you're stuck back here trying to catch up. And if you are, bend your knees enough to bring yourself upwards and forwards so you get that sensation. So maybe you've got to have your knees bent like this or maybe you can stretch out straight, whatever suits. And now, hand gently resting on the inside edge Inhale and as you exhale, come up and over and melt down through the tops, the top fingers, feeling an openness through your ribcage area. So you're stretching into the legs, letting the top fingers fall down towards your big toe. Inhale and exhale. Go for two more of those breaths. 
in, roll the top elbow back a little bit, exhale and fall. Then in, top elbow back, exhale and fall. Other side, hand on the inside edge, trace out the rainbow with your fingertips and fall towards your big toe, letting your ribs follow along as much as they can. Remembering always with stretchy stuff that if you struggle to get the range, if you feel like you're tight and stiff, that's why you're stretching. And the people who feel that the most are the ones that get the most benefit, even with very small results. So everyone's a winner here. Either you're feeling successful because you can reach for your toes and flop around, or you're feeling successful because you can't, and you're doing this exercise, this stretch anyway. So it doesn't matter where it goes, it's how it feels. Feel warmth and release here. Feel warmth and release along the back of the legs and breathe out and fold. And then come back to the middle and imagine getting your belly button as low as possible while you spread your chest up and back and away. So it can be a subtle thing. You can use your hands as light anchors. You can put your hands in front of you to bring you forward. Do whatever suits. Three breaths. Inhale and then exhale. Imagine you're like an ocean wave breaking on the floor in front of you. Inhale, swell. Exhale, wash. One more. In and exhale and wash. Now, put your feet together. Grab some butterfly wings. And then again, sitting up nice and tall, you can use your elbows to open the bear trap slightly and then try and sit upwards and forwards rather than collapsing downwards and backwards. So sitting up nice and tall, letting the knees splay gently side to side. You can hold onto the feet if you want and just let your butt muscles squeeze. You can flap the wings slightly, but then as you breathe out, Let the wings flutter and float and hold as low as they can comfortably go. Inhale, let the knees lift a little bit. And then exhale, squeeze the butt to flatten out the butterfly wings towards the floor. Two more of those breaths. Inhale, closing in. Exhale, opening and dropping down. Noticing the deep stretch in both hips at the same time as you do this. And then last time, in, tall and joyful, out, knees low and hips open. Beautiful. Come back in. And now, we will stand up nice and tall. And we'll do similar to what we did in the Tai Chi just to emphasize and build upon the stretch, the stretches that we've been doing. So starting out, bending the knees with your hands by your chest, then lift one heel, turn and push, hold here and roll the shoulders back and really accentuate the front to back reach, then inhale high, exhale and sink. Lift the left foot, in and turn, out and reach, in and rise, exhale and fall. Hands to heart, turn while you go elegant through the toe, push through, rise and fall, in, open, Come down with your knees still bent, spread your belly across your thighs and come into a forward fold. Let your head and upper body cascade down. Try and relax your shoulders with your fingertips gently by your little toes. And then as you hang here and breathe, let your tailbone lift as much as it can, but keep your belly button on your thighs. So your body's folded in half, but you try to touch your butt cheeks towards the ceiling at the same time. Now put your hands on your shins, flat back extend, 
Level yourself out, roll your shoulders back. Let the blood flow equalize as we're about to come out of that forward fold and then tip the hips under, roll your spine tall. Take your hands by your heart. Step the right foot up, turn the knee out, step back and then spread your wings. And this time as you come down, reach towards your front toe and hold at the bottom there. Whether you're touching the toe, whether you're far away, it doesn't matter. Just hold here, the other arm stretched and open behind you. Hold here for one breath in and then out. And notice how you give way a little bit and get lower in the stretch. Then come to the middle, rise, open, spread the hands overhead, stretch down, reaching towards toe, holding for a moment, breathing in, and then as you breathe out, melting where melting didn't appear to be just a few moments before. Then step in, in and rise, out and come behind, fingers reaching for toes, letting the front leg bend if it needs to, breathe in, breathe out and fold a little deeper. Come into the middle, rise, step behind, stretching fingers behind, stretching fingers in front, breathe in and then as you breathe out, melt, melt, melt. Then come in, we'll do one more each side. Rise, spread arms, float down, savour the bottom part of your soaring stretch. Inhale, exhale and melt when melting is given to you. Then come in, last one. Step back. Stretching behind, stretching past toes. Inhale, and then as you exhale, oh, just let your body be and let your body melt. Then come back into the middle, hands by chest. Roll your shoulders back and down like you are shining the whole center of your heart up through the ceiling, pinning and pulling your shoulders back together behind you. Close your pelvic floor, feel narrow across the waist. And then breathe in and as you breathe out, little bow, turn the arms back, roll the thumbs back and spread your angelic chest across the ceiling as you spiral your fingers back and down to the bottom corners of the room. Three more breaths. Inhale, chest open. Exhale, radiating right down to the middle finger. Inhale, even more angelic. Then the last one, in and out. And thank you for attending your little exercise class at home here. Hopefully see you back in the gym if and when, if, when, when everything returns back to normal in a better and brighter future. Thank you. Bye.